Olive. For decades, water hyacinth has plagued Lake Victoria, choking its waters and crippling the fishing and maritime industries, leading to losses estimate, estimated at 3 billion shillings. But now an ambitious project along the lake's shores is transforming this invasive weed into a powerful resource by converting hyacinth into biogas. The initiative is fueling kitchens and food dryers, helping to cast to cut post-harvest losses. As Laura Tino reports, the biogas plant isn't just tackling the hyacinth problems, it's also utilizing organic waste from Dunga Beach, turning the area into a model for sustainable waste management and clean energy production. As the sun casts its golden rays upon Lake Victoria, Geoffrey Omondi rises with it, ready to take on the day's work. One stalk at a time, he shreds a fresh batch of harvested water hyacinth. The rhythmic motion blending with the morning's quiet hum. Nearby, a separate bucket holds a heap of vegetable waste collected from local hotels waiting to be processed. Since 2018, Geoffrey and his team of young innovators have been breathing new life into organic waste from Dunga Beach. Turning discarded remnants into biogas, a renewable energy source that fuels both homes and hope. Mwanzo mwanzo hapa Dunga uchafu ilikuwa mingi zaidi. Kabisa kila mahali kulikuwa kumetapaka na uchafu. Lakini tangia tukuja na idea ya kusanya takataka na kuvitumia kwa njia nzuri amba inatuletea manufa dunga bichi kanza kutengenezeka. About 300 meters away, 19-year-old Byron Otieno is hard at work. Alongside his colleague, he meticulously sorts through the waste at a beachside bin, separating plastics and glass from the rest. It is a routine they have mastered. Day after day, ensuring that recyclable materials are set aside while organic waste makes its way to the biogas plant where it will be transformed into sustainable energy. One man's meat is another man's poison. For years, water hyacinth has been declared a menace in Lake Victoria. However, once this weed is in short supply, the plant uses organic waste collected from the Dunga fish market in order to generate energy. Ambayo biogas senyewe inatusaidia kwa upishi, tukona dryer, wakati mbapo watuna jua kama sasa hivi. Kuna wale akina mama mbao uwa wanaleta omena kutuwa kwa wavuvi na tunawafanya drying ikauke kupitia kwa biogas. At the fish market, a thick cloud of smoke billows into the air. A stark reminder of the reliance on traditional fuels. In a forgotten corner, a biogas banner sits unused, gathering dust. A silent testament to the challenges of transitioning to cleaner energy. According to the 2022 Kenya Economic Survey, 1.9 million households in Kenya still rely on firewood as their primary cooking fuel. In response, the Ministry of Energy introduced a behavior change communication strategy the same year, aiming to boost the adoption of clean cooking fuels. Yet, uptake remains uneven, with only 30% of rural households and 54% of urban households making the switch. People care about their pocket more than they do about the environment. And it's not just the small, the small person. It's also hotels, lodges, camps. The, the, the green movement is only going to be effective to them if it starts bringing money into the business. So people won't go green unless it is economically um, viable, economically benefiting, beneficial to them. Iyo moto yao ni strong. Kama unauna sayi, kuna moto. Eh, sasa ni strong. Kiweka hata kuchomo mena. Sana sana kuchomo mena ni mzuri sana. Inaenda raka. Kuni ikona moshi, lakini baibu wa sayi na moshi. Sasa hapo itakusaidia. Jumoshi ikingia kwa kefua, lazima ilete tena madhara. 
aligning with the UN's SDG 7 of ensuring access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy for all by 2030, the Biogas Digester offers a scalable solution for managing invasive plants and organic waste. It can be installed in areas grappling with an influx of mazenga weed, cactus or puntia, or other biodegradable waste, converting them into clean energy. Kenya generates an estimated 3,500 tons of waste daily, with 80% of it classified as organic, according to NEMA. Harnessing of this waste for biogas production not only provides a sustainable fuel alternative, but also creates employment opportunities, turning waste management into an economic and environmental win. There, there is no such thing as waste. Nature, before humans came along, everything, absolutely everything was recycled. By managing waste at source, you stop it going to the dump sites. So the, the waste from here, Dunga Beach, has not gone to the dump sites since 2018, 2019, when we took over the skip that they have here. So I just see, I just see, drugs, crime, I just see my needs. Uh, I'm keeping for, to continue with my education. I'm going to do accounting. The biogas produced here does more than just fueling kitchens. It also powers this chicken brooder, keeping day-old chicks warm. Meanwhile, a collection tank stores liquid fertilizer, a valuable byproduct of the biogas process, enriching the soil for local farmers. One leaf at a time, this digests a standstill at Donga Beach, a testament to the fact that even challenges like invasive waste can be transformed into opportunity. Every cloud indeed has a silver lining. Laura Otieno, Citizen TV.